due to time, I had to like rethink what I was gonna do. So I haven't met y'all before. It's actually like one of well, it's my second time in Frisco. Do y'all mind if I introduce myself for a minute? I come bearing stories of growth and transformation. And the mold was broken, so there is no replication. See, my style's so versatile that there is no limitations because I spit that dope without hesitation. And then I spark that up and blow smoke to your occipital. Because <laughs> I intoxicate your mind and I hijack your visuals. The kid is one of a kind. That fact is unequivocal. My name is Sam Coop, but you can call me the original. And I'm glad to be here. So thinking of Black Nificent, I was like, well, where should I start? And I figured I would take y'all back to when I was lost. So I searched until I found my work. And I dug deep into the depths of my soul until I discovered what being a queen really means. But for you to understand how that uniquely defines me, I guess I must first define the term queen. Quintessential royalty, unmatched elegance, extraordinary power, evolutionary eloquence, and a non-negative perspective. See, with all of that and the strength of 10 men, I put my family on my back and I still tread lightly like I'm waltzing on clouds. See, I intimidate demons and reverse vile intentions with calm correction and smiles. I've got a depth of perception so deep that the seas feel like puddles and I love with a breath so wide that I touch the souls of all others. Because I am the earth. I am the wind and the sea. But I am also as deadly as the fire when you step in correctly. So when you talk of magnificence, please, don't forget to mention me. Because I'll walk in the true definition of a queen. And of course, you know, at that point, it was like, well, that was a pivotal point in life, right? It gave me the confidence to stand in front of a room full of people and say something like, I am a queen. And I exist in this state that is so serene while I breathe as a mortal steady yet labored and I walk as a goddess. Smooth, weightless, and favored, but in all reality, I am a titan. Cause my skin absorbs light and that shit shines like diamonds. This skin is molecularly magnificent and this melanin works magic even when the concentration is quite different. See, it fuels my body by capturing the sun's rays and exudes excellence in numerous ways. See, without this melanin, you'd have no keratin. And that piques their interest and keeps them coming like heroin. See that keratin? That's what builds your crown, which demands their attention, whether it's twisted up or it's flowing down. It accents your digits and emphasizes your rings. It covers my head, my toes, and everything in between. And see, that's what makes me phenomenal. See, because I can carry the world without disrupting a single follicle. And I reek of femininity and uniqueness in the way I carry these curves. Yeah, that's pure genius. And I personify grace when I'm so tightly bound because there's limitless versatility rooted in this crown. But what makes me a titan is that my presence is impactful and my light just might be blinding. See, becoming a woman, that's a rite of passage. But the gateway was learning what my black is. So therefore, I make an impression with every step that I take, with every room that I enter, with every move that I make. Thank you.